Hello. Um, this isn't sweat, by the way. This is, um, I've been wearing a frozen towel. That is the God's honest truth. Um, I'm actually wearing a t-shirt that Bill, my fiance, um, did an artwork on. Ooh, I'm going to put his red bubble thing in the description because I like that. Okay, so I get a lot of my submission, like things to submit from the horror tree website and they've done a game and that's not where the game is where is the game there it is and okay i think it's just called the horror tree uh play the game Ooh, funky spooky start okay let's just go You've done it now. You went out on a limb and not on any old tree. You attempted to snag a piece of low-hanging fruit dangling from the branch of the horror tree. Don't be ashamed, you're not the first to try. But now that you're halfway up and in a rather precarious position, you must turn over a new leaf. Start making wise decisions. That is, if you wish to get out of this in one piece or at least alive. If you look up, you'll see the tree continues much higher into a full but quite dark canopy, overshadowing all. Beneath you lies the trunk of the tree with its jagged bark you scaled thus far, as well as a number of branches extending in several directions. At the end of the branch ahead is the delicious looking fruit. What do you do? I'm going to examine that fruit. I'm going to examine that fruit so hard. Oh! It really is strange. <laughs> That's like something that I would write. Just looking at it makes your mouth water and thinking about it, well, those questionably moral feelings are best kept to yourself. What do you do? Mm, probably return to the trunk. I'll avoid sexual fruit from for now. Never say never. You return to the place where the trunk meets the long branch with a piece of fruit on it. It's comforting to let your weight rest there a moment. High above you hangs the dark canopy. Down the tree, you see a number of branches extending in several directions. What do you do? Go up. Go down. Take the fruit. Uh, let's go down. You continue to the next group of branches. In the side of the tree facing you is a dark, gaping hole in the side you somehow missed earlier. Either you climbed up the opposite side of the tree on your original ascent, or you were just so enamoured with the fruit you didn't pay attention. Um, a thick branch, blah blah, what do you do? Um, let's reach into the hole. Probably the stupidest thing you've done yet, but what the hell? You reach into the dark hole until your fingers brush against a wet surface. You freeze with fear until you reason that any living thing certainly would have struck back at this point, what do you do? Let's grab that wet thing, shall we? You touch the wet thing again. It's covered in bumps. Maybe it's a piece of that fruit some animal left inside. You grab the dangling piece and pull, at once triggering a gag reflex. <gasps> oh, I've lost a hand. The opening you thought was some critter's front door is the hungry mouth of the horror tree. Sharp teeth come closing down and shooting up where they meet to form a near seamless sheet of bone upon your arm. I can carry on with one arm, it's fine. You at once fall and with the snap of your bone, snap of bone your arm is severed and you collapse onto the ground. Uh, oh well, I'm dead. Well, let's give it one more go. Uh, low hanging fruit, what do you do? Let's go up this time. The bark cuts into your flesh, enough so that when you draw your hand up to find your next hold, you see a polygonal imprint outlined in trickling blood. It stings like a bitch, too. Above you, you see a group of branches more leafy than those beneath you. What do you do? Up again? Oh. It's as if the bark was holding you instead of the other way around. Every time you pull away, it seems to object, refusing for the briefest of moments to let go. Blood trickles down your bare forearms. All around and above, you thin a 
branches spread and fork into still smaller branches, all covered in leaves, which form the shadowy canopy of the tree. What is most unusual about this canopy is that, though sunlight spills onto the forest floor from all around, not even the slightest amount of light appears to penetrate the limbs above you. <laughs> covered in foliage, sorry. It's as if the tree itself does not absorb light, but destroys it. A cursory understanding of science would disagree with such a foolish notion. But ever since you set your eye upon the tree, all the sense and reason seem to have abandoned you. Where do you go? Let's see what's at the top, shall we? Ooh, is that more sex fruit? You ascend higher, using ever smaller branches as foot and hand holds to climb. Until you press through the dense foliage and stand atop the very summit of the tree, a sight defies all reality. Before the forest was alive with the song of birds, but now come moans and cries and whimpers, wailing and mourning. You find yourself gnashing your teeth. This is hell or something like it. In every direction lies an endless forest of dead, barren trees, ravaged by time or some other force. You, oh God. Even where the park should end is replaced with the black leafless skeletons of trees. The trail is gone, the highway is gone, the countryside with its quaint farms and cottages and barns gone. The entire world is a dead forest, save this one. The tree you find yourself atop. Only it is alive and thriving. Where do you go? Nowhere down. Let's see what nowhere does. You stay atop the tree in a solitude of nothingness. For now you realise nothing else exists, nor can exist. Nothing will grow ever again in this dead world. Even your desire for the fruit below is withered, and you shall never leave this place. Ah, <sighs> the end. Okay, well, very interesting. I wonder what the thing of the tree is, and I wonder if it will ever let you go. Okay, alright. Uh, bye.